Welcome to Learn and Love Music. I'm Dwayne Hulbert. Today I'm going to present a wonderful piece by Frederick Chopin, his Barcarolle and F sharp major. Many people know his etudes and his sonatas and all the other wonderful pieces. This piece has something very special though. It sounds like a nocturne, but it's much bigger, much more grand. It almost sounds a little bit like a ballad in a way, but it's a fabulous piece, and I want to present some of the reasons why this is so wonderful. Before we begin, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our channel, Learn and Love Music. So let's get started with Chopin's Barcarolle in F sharp major. Today I'm going to give you five magical moments in Chopin's Barcarolle. Moment number one, at the beginning of the piece, you'll hear a rhythmic pattern that's in 12-8 time. Sometimes Barcarolles are in 6-8 time, but this one's a little different because the phrase goes a little bit longer. This is what it sounds like. And it's repeated. Then the melody comes in in the right hand at that point. That's a marvelous beginning to the Barcarolle having that rhythm and also having that feeling like you're on a gondola where the music flows forward and then kind of has a little bit of a back step and then flows forward again. That forward motion with a little bit of kind of grabbing the oar and then moving forward makes it very magical. Magical moment number two, the use of six. Six have a very kind of melodic kind of sound to them. written Legero and they're supposed to be played very fast. Many of you might remember that Chopin also wrote an etude in six. It's kind of like that, but this one he writes that Legero marking and it kind of falls down. He also has a diminuendo through it, so it almost feels like the water is pushing over the bow of the boat and then just sort of moving away. Listen to the spot where Chopin uses six. Magical moment number three, double trill delight. Sounds like an ice cream cone or something, but in this case, it's a marvelous passage where Chopin uses thirds. Remember we talked a little bit about etudes before. Chopin wrote an etude in thirds. It's very hard. But here he's using the thirds as a decoration, not as sort of showing off, but it's a marvelous use of listening to the trill and then suddenly you'll hear that opening theme in the bass come up underneath the trill. Here's the trill. It's a single trill and then a double. I love that passage that has all those thirds. Italian flair to it. Moment number three. Chopin goes a little bit into the dark side. He switches from C sharp, which is seven sharps, into three sharps. It's A major. A major has sort of a richer kind of sound. And notice what he does. He keeps that Barcarolle rhythm going in the alto voice, but then he has sort of a beautiful melody on the top. But it's very, very quiet here. Much different than some of the bigger spots earlier on. Here it is. Notice that that rhythm always is underneath there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's the backdrop for all of this piece, this bark roll. And finally, tip number five, the big finish. We have this wonderful recapitulation, but this time 
he has a double trill on the right hand that really makes it exciting. And you'll notice that now the left hand is not a simple line. He does octaves. We put the double trill in the top and the big octaves on the bottom and make this the climax of the whole piece. Here it is. So those are five reasons why this is such a magical piece. But I have a bonus one for you. At the end of this piece, he does these wonderful cadenza-like passages. There's no time signature. It's almost like we say cadenza or sort of more like an improvisation here. Listen to this fabulous passage, this cadenza near the end of the piece. And one last cadenza, at the very end, he puts this leggero passage that is very light and it's not loud, but it sort of has a lot of energy in it and it sets up the fortissimo ending. This is all very quiet leggero. Thanks for watching Learn and Love Music. Hope you enjoyed this presentation on the Barcarolle of Chopin. Make sure you check out the entire performance of this Barcarolle. It's about an eight minute piece. It's a wonderful piece as we've been talking about. You can see all of this on the companion video. We'll see you next time on Learn and Love Music. I'm Dwayne Holbrook.